Security warning for official use only. All individuals handling this information are required to protect it from unauthorized disclosure. This information should be disseminated on a need to know basis via controlled media, CD, mobile hard drive, paper, etc. Do not transmit this material via any unsecured email network. This document is a product of Critical Solutions International. It is not for public use, but is intended for use by authorized personnel. This information is not to be released without written authorization from Critical Solutions International. Destroy this material when no longer needed. At the conclusion of this class, you will be knowledgeable on how to safely and properly enter and exit the Husky 2G. Warning, always enter and exit the vehicle from the right side of the rear bumper and use the hand railing, steps, and grab handles provided. Always maintain three points of contact when climbing on vehicle. The vehicle operators must wear the combat vehicle crewman CBC helmets while performing all operating procedures. For mission and command policy, the CBC helmet may be substituted if unavailable. The driver's access covers are heavy, 134 pounds each. Do not place hands in any area where they may become pinned when closing the driver's access covers. Driver's access covers must be closed with both feet on driver or operator seat and knees and body bent. Refer to Husky 2G Operator Manual for additional information and procedures. Entering and exiting vehicle. Note. Perform steps 1 through 7 to enter operator's compartment. Perform steps 8 through 16 to exit operator's compartment. Step 1. Approach vehicle from the right rear side. Grab hand railing. Place right foot on step and bottom of bumper and climb up until standing on bumper. Step 2. While holding hand railing, climb up to top of rear module using steps provided. Step 3. With both driver access covers open, slowly climb into the operator's compartment using the footsteps between the driver and operator's seats while grabbing the side grab handle of the roof frame. Step four, place both feet on the driver or operator seat. Note, the left driver access cover must be closed before the right driver access cover can be closed. Step five, while standing on the driver operator seat, lean against seat back Rest and reach out and close the left driver access cover, followed by right driver access cover. Step six, bend down, grab steering wheel, place feet forward one at a time, and climb into seat. Step seven, put on safety belt harness. Step eight, release safety belt harness. Note, the right driver access cover must be open before the left driver access cover can be open. Step nine. While squatting with both feet on driver or operator seat, slowly open right driver access cover, followed by left driver access cover. Step 10. While standing upright on the driver or operator seat, place left and right hands on side edges of roof frame and step up on the footsteps located between the driver and the operator seats. Step 11. Push up with arms and legs until both feet can be placed on side edges of the roof frame. Step 12. While sitting on the back edge of the roof frame, turn around and grab right grab handle with right hand and driver access cover grab handle with left hand. Stand up on rear step. Step 13. Turn around and close the driver access covers. Step 14. Place right hand on driver access cover grab handle and left hand on center grab handle. Turn body around, place right foot on step and move backwards down steps to rear bumper. Step 15, with right hand on hand railing, move backwards using steps on the rear module unit standing on top of the rear bumper. Step 16, hold on to hand railing with right hand and step down backwards onto lower step and onto the ground.